What's going on everyone? Over here waking up, getting a really quick breakfast in, just my supplements with a banana, a little bit of water, head into training, start our day. All right guys, so what are the damn chances? I just got rear-ended really bad. My baby in the back. I'm really pissed right now. The police just got here and we're gonna handle this issue really quick. This just shows you how unpredictable life can be. All right guys, so over here we see my car. The bumper is completely off. You see my bumper back there. That's where I got hit and got pushed all the way forward. When police got here, we moved. Everything is a little better now. Little baby's good. I'm all right. Hurt my back, I might. I hurt my back, my neck. The baby's okay, that was my number one priority. Police report, got everything handled. Now we're gonna head to the insurance, take care of this. You know, but I wanna show you that even through this chaos, you can find the positive in things, you know. He's healthy. Amarrate. He's healthy, I'm healthy for the most part. Like I said, my neck and my back really hurt, so I'm about to handle that too. Sucks, so unfortunate, such bad timing. But um, like I said, that little boy back there is good. That's my that's my life. That's my reason that I why I do everything. So yeah, I always gotta find the positive in things. Could be worse. All right, guys, we're now leaving the attorney's office. Everything worked out good, of course. As you can see the bumpers there. We're gonna head home now. Still taking all this in, it's crazy. It's just getting home. I really cannot believe this just happened. Like, I really can't believe it. Like, wow. Can't believe this happened. All right, guys, now I'm actually at home. Just processing everything. I had to deal with the insurance really quick, as soon as possible. Man, I don't even know where to start. And you guys saw it, I was just on my way to the gym. Somebody in front of me was merging left. So of course I had to, I had to slow down. The person behind me was too close. I saw, it's a woman, I saw she was too close too. And she just didn't stop. I'm sure, I'm sure she was on her phone. I mean, the they, the way she hit me, she hit me a full like 45 miles per hour, if not more. I'm pretty sure she was going more. I actually lost control of the car for so far. She because she pushed me into traffic. We we're already in ongoing traffic, so she hit me and I lost complete control of the car. The brakes weren't working. I was with my little brother in the back. He started crying right away. It was it was just bad. I almost lost it for a second too. I got really heated, but you know, especially when you have a kid, you have to be an adult. And I have to just slow down, think, think rationally, think what you have to do. But it's just crazy. I'm so blessed, so blessed to be healthy and my little kid is good. It's just, like I said, it's just taking everything in right now. Everything happens for a reason though, that's for sure. Everything happens for a reason, you know. I don't know what the reason is, but I'm um, sure. I'm sure I'll find out eventually, or I'll see it after. But um, everything has a positive, you know. It could be worse. He's healthy. I'm healthy. And at the end of the day, that's that's what matters. Everything else, I don't really care about. You know, I, don't, I definitely don't care about the car. Um, just care about the fact that he's fine. The fact that I'll be okay. It's gonna hit a chiropractor. I'm really dizzy right now. I don't. I have something in my head for sure. I have a headache, but it's a weird headache. So I for sure want to see that. See what's going on. 
I'll probably uh, spend all day today handling as much as that as possible. I'm gonna try to make it to the gym still, cause I have to. I mean, I still have the competition this weekend, so I can't just stop training, you know. Um, so we'll we'll see. One thing at a time, one step at a time. We'll see. Getting ready to um, cook some lunch. I'm gonna try to still get through today with a positive energy. All I wanna give you guys is positive energy, so I'm gonna try to get through it. Uh, let's have some lunch. I'm gonna have some tilapia with a little bit of rice and beans. And that's what I'm craving right now, so that'll be good. Yo, 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 what's going on? We are heading to the gym right now. We manage it out well, so we're about to get some good training in right now. Four hours straight, pretty much, from 5 to 9 p.m. Let's get it. And just like that, get into the gym. About to put in work. It's my last day training here in Vegas, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. Thank you. Hello. Just got done training, put in work, lost all the weight I needed to. My boy out here helping me out, making it happen. This girl right here. All right, and this is dinner for the night. We got rice, beans, and we got two fried eggs. We got a banana. We got a Capri Sun. You're never too old for a Capri Sun, especially if it's Kool-Aid. Um, and I'm doubling up on my supplements, actually. I normally only take them in the morning, but I'm gonna take them at night too because I'm feeling the wake up a little bit. So there's nothing wrong with doubling up on the supplements when you're feeling a little down to boost your uh, all your systems up and get ready to go tomorrow. Bam. All right, everyone, and this is what we take when we travel. We got the gi, we got some shorts, some shirts, some rash guard. All right, we're now all packed up. Everything is packed. I'm at the homie's house and we're getting ready get everything organized, we fly tomorrow morning to San Jose. Here we come. You know, really long day, obviously. We got through it like a champ. Tomorrow's gonna be even better. <laughs> 